hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, part two of our Ships in a Bottle build. Well, when we left last week's show, we had just gotten our hinges in place so that we could get our masts to fold down to insert them in the bottles. So on this week's show, we're going to get right back into it, and it all starts out with some more of that 332nd diameter dowel, and we need to start cutting some of the spars. Well, with our hinges installed in all of our masts, we can now turn our attention. These are pieces that are cut for our spars. Um, in this particular case, we're doing a square rigging, so we're going to need three of each size. The first thing that we want to do is we are going to drill right down through the middle of this thing, right dead center of our spar, one of our holes with our pin vise. Then at 90 degrees to that hole, we are going to drill as close to the end of our spar as we can get a, another hole at each end. So one in the middle, and then at 90 degrees to that one in the middle, one at each end of each one of these pieces. Now just to help me visualize the 90 degrees, with that center hole done, I'm just going to put a cut of wire through it, that way I can sort of judge whether or not I'm close to having the uh, outside holes at the 90 degree mark. They don't have to be 100% perfect, but you'd like to get them as close as you can. Okay, and that is one done. So let me show you what we need to do with this one spar that we've just drilled. What you want to do is you want to take a piece of your black thread. And we're just going to cut off a length of this here. And what we need to do is we need to feed it through that hole that our wire is in right now. So we're going to take the wire out and place it in through that center hole. Just like that. It's just a small piece of thread, maybe an inch and a half, two inches long. Okay, so now that we have that in place, we're going to need some more of our white glue. And I'm going to put a little bit on a piece of paper. And what we're going to do is coat our threads with that glue. And we're going to twist them together. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us almost like a needle that we can install this with later on. So we're just going to pull them to one side here and get some glue on them. And once we get the glue on the threads, we'll twist them together to make one thread. And we'll make sure that that's good and tight on there. And that's twisted all the way up to the mast. And once we get that done, we're going to let the glue dry. Now we need to do this for each one of the spars that we have cut here. So this is a time consuming process. Um, I'm not going to film it. It takes too long to film all of that. So get those done and uh, then we can move on. Well, I have all those glued and drying up. They're all finished. We're just waiting on those. Um, we have two more spars here, and these are for the rear mast on the larger ship. Um, at each end, we need to drill a hole 90 degrees to each other. 
Get it as close to the end as you can. These are for the connection points. And then in one end, you need to do the same thing as we've done in the center of our other spars, which is install a thread, put a little bit of glue on it, twist it up, but pull it this time, instead of perpendicular to the mast, pull it along its length so that we have a piece coming out of the end of our spar for attachment. Well, at this point, we have all of our spars for our square rigging, all with their ropes attached, and uh, we've got them into their groups because we need one of each size to go on each mast for each group of sails. It's time to start drilling the holes so that these can attach. So it's hard for me to tell you how to drill these holes in, but basically what we're going to do is in this configuration here, this is the way they're going to sit, where this section here is going to be sitting at the front or the bow of our ship. So what we need to do is we need to drill this way through our masts in order to mount these spars. Check your drawing. Check the sketch that you've done and the position of your scales. You can, uh, or the position of your sails rather. Basically drill all the holes that you need in order to mount these things. And once I get this one mast here drilled, I'll come back and see and show you how this stuff goes together. Okay, so starting with the lowest hole in the mast, I have one of our larger, or the larger of the two spars here, and I'm applying a little bit of the white glue. And I'm just gonna spin that around to coat the inside. I think I'm gonna put a little more on it. And you want to have it so that the hole that is drilled in the opposite end is vertical. You're going to need to run more thread through that later. And as well, you want to make sure that this is going to fold up. So make your hole vertical and fold this spar tight up to the mast, just like that. And that will be where this will get mounted. So we will let that dry and then we can move on to the next. From there at each one of our holes, starting with the largest one at the bottom and then working our way smaller up to the top, we're going to take our threads and insert them in the holes that we made with the exact same process. You want to make sure that you can both fold them up and that they're gonna be in there tightly. So we're gonna let this one dry and then we'll glue all the rest of them in. When I get that all glued up on the one mast, I'll show you what we have and uh, then we can just repeat it on all the rest of them. And at this point for the rear mast, you should have something that looks like this. Now it's a little messy right now with things all over the place, but that's because there's no rigging in place to hold it. So for now, we'll just let these dry up in their holes and uh, you know what? We'll set up all of our masts with their spars in place and then, well, I'll see you after that. Well, I have all of the spars glued up on all of our masts. So at this point in time, you can see here we have our thread still sticking out the back of our masts. Uh, I'm gonna leave that for now and trim it once I get them mounted to the hulls. So. If you remember earlier, we placed marks here on the hull for each position of our masts. So the first thing that we need to do is mark where the holes are going to go for the hinge pins of our, um, of our mast hinges. So you just want to line them up in the position that they're going to get mounted and very carefully mark with a pencil where your holes for your hinges are going to go. Once we get that done, we can use our pin vise to drill the holes as straight down and as vertical as you can possibly get it. And then we can just apply a little bit of our white glue to the hinge pins and insert them down into the hulls. Now you may need to trim them 
um, but you basically want to get it so that your masts are close enough to the deck that they're going to be secure, but far enough away from the deck that they can still pivot. So we can finish up and get all of these masts in both of our ships installed, and I'll see you when we get that done. Once all your masts or your hinges are dry, you should have something that looks like this. And of course, your masts should be able to fold right down so that, you know, when it comes time to squeeze this thing into the bottle, we're going to be able to do it. But at this point in time, there are a lot of those little threads that are sticking out the back of each mast. So we're just going to take a sharp knife and cut each one of them off uh, so that they're not protruding anymore. Well, I know that these look a little kind of crooked and the spars are all out of whack and that sort of thing. That's okay. Once we get the rigging on here, um, that's going to straighten all of those up and they'll look really great. Um, the next thing that we need to do before we get into the rigging is I want to get the bowsprit put on. And what that is, is, is that's that 332nd dowel or the pole or whatever you want to call it that comes off the front end of the ship. Now, this one's extremely long, but... We're going to cut it to length and we're going to glue it in place. I think for these, what I'm going to do to give it a little bit of extra strength is I'm going to actually drill it and put a piece of 22 gauge wire right down through it just to give it a little more strength uh, and, and holding power. So let me get those cut and glued into place, let them completely dry, and then we can carry on from there. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut this bowsprit to length according to my little sketch. I've also drilled three holes in it. Well, four technically. Uh, one of them will be for our 22 gauge wire pin. And the other one, or the other three, are going to be for the rigging. Um, on the smaller of these two ships, the one with the two masts, that will have... Uh, three holes in the bowsprit for rigging, whereas our larger ship with the three masts is going to have four holes for the rigging. All right, so we are just going to glue this in place now. And you really want to let these set up. So there's no rush. Uh, don't rush this step. Get it in place. Get it lined up the way you like it, the way it looks good to you. And seriously, put that aside and let it dry. Don't touch it. Don't even think about it. Go work on something else for a while. Well, we can now trim that piece of wire that's holding our bowsprit in place. And we can start working on the rigging. Now, each one of these masts, when they get folded down, are going to fold towards the rear of the ship. So because of that, we need to do the rat lines, and that is the side-to-side -side support lines for each one of the masts. So because they fold to the back, we need to, just behind each mast, we're going to drill four shallow holes in the side of the hull. Those will be for the attachment wires for our rat lines. So let me just get the four holes here drilled on the one side and uh, I'll show you what we're going to do with it once we get them drilled in. Okay, so now using a pair of tweezers or a fine needle nose pair of pliers, anything like that, we're just going to apply some glue onto our wire and insert one wire into each one of these holes. Now, it's important that you let these dry, so be patient. So I'm going to insert the rest of those wires as well. We're going to drill four here and four here for each one of the masts on both sides of the ship, as well just in front of the middle mast and just in front of the rear mast, and then way back here just before the actual end of the ship, 
we're going to drill two through holes. These will go completely through the body um, and they will be for other rigging that we'll get into. But for now, let's get these wires drilled or glued rather into place. Okay, and now you can see here that I have all three sets of four wires. I've actually got it on both sides of the ship and I've also glued one single wire straight off the uh, back end of the boat right in the middle. The hardest part about making a project like this is the waiting. And at this point now, you need to put this aside, just chill out, relax, let this completely set up. You don't wanna be messing with it. So I'm gonna get all the wires drilled into the other one, and then we can move on to the next step, which is the rigging. I also wanna point out, you can see here, I'm just pointing to them with this all. There's one there, one there, here, here, and here and here. Those are through holes that will be for the square rigged uh, spars for each mast. But either way, let this dry up and uh, we're gonna get into the fun stuff now, guys. The stuff that's really hard on the eyes. I'm not gonna get too much into the rigging unless it is different from my original tutorial. Um, so, for the most part, it's just gonna be a quick overview. We have three holes in the bow sprit here, and in the very end hole, we're gonna take one thread up through the bow sprit, through the top hole in the first mass, through the top hole in the second mass, down through this spar here at the back, and then through the lower rear spar, and then we're gonna tie it off to our rear wire. The only thing I'll say is that you need to leave enough enough thread sticking out of this model so that when it comes time to put it in the bottle, the threads will protrude out the neck of the bottle. If you're having problems feeding your thread through, there's a couple things you can do. One is you can coat the thread with glue and let it dry to make it almost like a needle. Uh, another thing that you can do is to clean out your drilled holes with your pin vise. Um, this will give a, a, a clear pathway for the thread to travel through and it'll make it a little easier on you. Okay, and then we're gonna tie it off to that rear wire. Well, the next string that we're going to install will be through the second hole in our bowsprit. It will come up and just above our second um, spar from the top, we have a hole through the masts. It will go through the first hole and it will tie off at the second hole. And uh, you can glue the knot back here, but leave everything else loose. And we've just placed a little blob of the white glue on that knot up there to hold that one wire in place or the one thread in place. We've also placed a little blob of glue at this back one. Um, there's one more hole in the bowsprit here. We will bring one more thread up through and it will attach and tie to the hole just above the lowest spar here on the front mast. So I'll get that one done, and then uh, we can carry on with some of the more of the rigging. Well, with that last line in, there's not much more we can do here. Um, I have glued in up top here two small pieces of wire and bent them up, and we have to wait for those to dry. Those will be um, our rat line brackets but we cannot be gluing rat lines on there until the stuff is dry. So for now, uh, we're gonna have to leave it and uh, I'll do the front riggings on the other boat, the other ship, and then uh, I guess we'll come back and see it. Well, it's now time to install the rat lines and those will be the lines that will run to the top of the mast and down to these wires that we installed here that will hold the mast level or vertical from side to side. 
So I've tied off, you can see this one string right here, which is tied to this mast. I've tied it off down here so that it won't allow the mast to go any further back. So with the string tied at the top of the mast hooks, we're just going to run the string around these wires, around the two outside wires, back up to the top, hook it back down into the middle set of wires, pull it tight and then back up top. And then we can tie this at the top of the mast. Now this will, uh, of course, if you pull it too tight, it's gonna cause your mast to lean to one side or the other. So make sure that you're not pulling it too tight. Do it to both sides, checking it regularly that your mast is upright um, and, and square and level and that sort of thing. And do both sides and then uh, come back and see me. Well, there is both sets of the rat lines done on both masts. Um, I know that it's not a very detailed explanation of how to do it. It's because it's the same old hat. It's the same that I showed you in the main six part tutorial of the ship in a bottle that I did here on the show. So if you need more detail on the rat lines, you can check below and you can find the, um, the links to that series and you can get the detail that you need. However, on that tutorial, I did not do square rigging and that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna get a little more in depth into that. Now we drilled these two through holes behind the masts, two here and two back here. So what we need to do is take one thread that will go from this hole in the bottom spar, it'll come down through here, it'll go through our front hole, the furthest front, all the way through the body, it'll come through and it will tie off to this side of the spar. That way it will keep it level and keep it taut. So um, that will be the one. The next one will do the exact same thing through the exact same hole. It'll go through that first hole and then tie off. And then this top one here, this will go through, tie off, go down through the second hole back and then tie off after it comes up through, it'll tie off to the spar, keeping it level. And then the same thing with this very top one, we're gonna tie it off. And normally it would be tied off up around the top. I don't like that idea. I wanna make it a little more secure. So I'm gonna bring it back down and through this hole as well. So let me get one done and I'll show you what we end up with. And hopefully you'll understand at that point. Okay, and there's the first two done. You can see how they are now leveled out. Um, the strings hold them in place. Once we get uh, the sails and everything on and get it in the bottle, uh, those strings that go back through this hole in the hull, that is going to be glued in place so that they won't shift after that. Right now, they still have the possibility to go left or right. You can see I can tilt that a little bit, but, um, for the most part, they're, they're stable. So I'm gonna do the top two here, and just like these ones, they'll, but they'll go into the second hole. And then we're gonna repeat the exact same thing for the rear mast. So I don't think we need a video of that. Uh, I'm gonna get all of the rigging completed on this ship, and I'll see you when I get that done. And unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today's show. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. We're getting some serious progress done here, but there's a lot more to come. Guys, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Click the bell and then you won't miss notifications of future episodes of the show. I hope you've enjoyed the content in this series so far, guys. I hope you're going to consider trying this yourself. I hope you're going to consider checking out my six-part tutorial with step-by-step -step all the way through that will really help you build this one if you want to do it. And more importantly, guys, I hope you're gonna join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.